Hello, my creatives. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome to The Hop, and I hope that you find things that are interesting. Comment, like, sh sh subscribe, share, whatever. Let me know what you're doing for your art journey. I'm using a brand new Artesia paper, and I'm going to attach two for the very first page and put them on the side, and then I'm going to start working with my background papers and gluing them down um, just first putting in some gesso just to kind of have a nice little sturdy background there and throwing on these triangles getting them on a beautiful beautiful paper that i have here I think this um, this arrangement came out very nice. The pictures look good. The um, lines from the cut pieces went very nicely together. Actually, that, that made the page really nice. It could have um, been just like that. But of course, I had to play with it a little bit more. Um, I, I don't imagine much of us, well, maybe there are people that leave it like that and just add to it. But I ended up having to use some glitter paint and I stuck with the blues mostly and then I have an iridescent one that I tried see this one and I tried masking off the uh, border and then trying to get the lines in there it wasn't it wasn't bad it was okay things didn't go very wrong here they do go a little wrong later but that's sort of the way this is um, using this stamp set with the die cuts, I stamped first, but what I should have used was a um, alcohol-based ink, but I didn't. I used a water-based ink, which was not a good choice, and it spread all over the place. So when I added, um, added the die cuts over it and glued them down, the ink spread all over the place and makes quite a mess. Um, I have some stars in there. I don't think you see them quite as well. I'll see if I can't get a close-up of those. So when all else fails, get the gesso out. You can see the ink spread. Now it's not the stays on ink that you see on the side. It was a water-based black ink and it stained everything horribly and just, oh, I was very disappointed. So I'm gonna start again. I'm gonna start working with outlining everything with a water-based, um, actually these are alcohol, alcohol no, these are water-based markers. Oh my God, I'm so confused and um, just outlining everything so that it pops off the page a little bit better. This is what happens. I get a little bit overzealous and I just, so I'm not giving up on this. What my plan is for this, this book is just to keep going and try to figure it out so that it works out and just keep moving and keep trying. So most of the time what I will do is if I don't like it, I'll just rip it out. Um, this year I'm going to try to continue with this book and just not go into the rip it out stage. So I took some baby wipe and I spread that ink all over the place and it does, you know, make it a little nicer. Um, the black, as in the end, I just decided that the black is sort of a part of what you know, what everyday life is like. You end up having some darkness and some sparkle. So I, I, I think that works. So if you consider that this may be representative of how a year might go, there you go. Um, I'm adding some sparkle onto the stars and the world and the swirlies just to, to focal them up, get them to pop a little bit. 
And, uh, you know, sometimes when things aren't going well, um, these are all water-based so that when I take the baby wipe, they'll spread a little bit. Um, yeah, sometimes when you try to, too much to get rid of something, it gets worse and worse, and I think that's what happened. So now I'm just going to finish up by adding some dry pieces. In other words, I don't put anything on the pieces that I punch out. I punch out flowers and some leaves for the bottom and I'm going to attach them with glue dots and there's not going to be any sparkle or anything. You're just going to be plain and uh, putting on a sentiment. Using my bone folder I, I make the flatness of the flowers pop up a little bit so they're a little 3D, but they're not going to bulk it up too much. And then I put a sentiment on, which says, May good things grow all year long. And hopefully, that's what I'm looking forward to. Making sure that I continue in my art journey and trying to get better at what I'm doing. And I hope you'll join us. And don't forget to check everybody else's out. It's going to be a really nice show. We're going to be doing this monthly so you have all of that to look forward to don't forget um, to like share and subscribe i hope to see you next time i'd love to hear your comments i mean do you what do you do with your work if you end up having a big blotch <laughs>